Melbourne researchers have made a major breakthrough in treating one of the most common autoimmune diseases affecting Australians. They have successfully tested two new drugs to fight alopecia, a condition that causes baldness. Eliza Rugg reports. With a head full of hair, it's hard to believe this was Jack Jametta just two years ago. It's quite tough to deal with. Like, I felt like my body was kind of betraying me. The now 21-year-old was diagnosed with alopecia. It was huge. It, like, it consumes pretty much my whole life. The autoimmune disease affects 147 million people around the world. The majority are men. About 15% of patients lose every single hair on their body, including eyebrows and eyelashes. You might think that that's relatively insignificant, but if you go for a jog with no eyebrows, the sweat just runs straight down into your eyes. If you walk through the city streets with no eyelashes, all the dust blows into your eyes. A trial led by the University of Melbourne could be a game changer for those with alopecia areata that causes hair to fall out in patches. Two new medications known as JAK inhibitors have been found to halt the immune response that causes alopecia, allowing hair to regrow. When I finally got on it, it just, well, it all grew back. People who haven't had a hair on their head, a hair on their body for years, suddenly regrowing their hair over a course of 12 to 24 weeks. The next phase of the trial is due to start within 12 months. Patients can check with their dermatologist to see if they're eligible. If the results are as good as what we've seen here in the phase two, then these medications could be available to the, to the affected people in the community within, uh, within two years. Advocates are now calling on the federal government to make sure the medication is affordable when it hits the market. It has to go on the PBS for everybody to have the equal opportunity to have a normal life. Eliza Rugg, Nine News.